everyone and welcome to the daily word really glad that you have joined me and for our daily word today we're going to go into the beatitudes again into matthew chapter 5 and today into verse 12. we read there these words of jesus be happy about it be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven and remember the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way so jesus is speaking here about his followers who would be willing to endure persecution for his sake. And he says to be happy about it, to be glad because of the reward to come. Now, to me, the, the question that, that's sort of rolling around in my heart today about this is, what does it take for somebody to actually be glad about being persecuted. I, I want to invite you to think with me about that because what we're talking about is not being somehow mentally disturbed. This is, a, this is a rational choice that people are making that is a reasonable choice that in fact is not just reasonable, that it is clearly the best choice. So to me, this leads us to a, a bit of a, of a discussion about, about worship. Because the, the truth is that we are, we are worshipful beings. We human beings are. And, and that has to do with how we were made, of course. That we were made for God. We were made to glorify God, to show how good He is. And regardless of whether we are religious or not, we do worship. We attribute worth to things. And, and there is something in our lives that we attribute ultimate worth to. We attribute worth to it, and therefore we allow that ultimate worth to be the goal of our lives, the goal of our existence. We give our time to it. We give our energy, our, our passion to it. It, it becomes the, the, the moving force, the leading force in our lives because we have we've attributed worth, we've attributed value to whatever that is. And, and of course, you know, lots of times uh, we see that, um, that money becomes that, that, that things, um, accumulation becomes that, uh, relationships, especially romantic relationship, it becomes about that. And, and we can put any number of things though, um, power, position, et cetera. We, we can put lots of things to say, this is what is of greatest value to me. And, and what Jesus is pointing out here is the followers of Jesus have, have made a value judgment that is, that is spot on, that, that they have valued what is greatest and that they should be glad, they should be happy, even when persecution comes. So, so think about this with me as, as, we're, as we're valuing, as we're attributing worth to, to things to say that, that actually being persecuted, so having your things taken, having uh, been put into prison, some even being killed, having the, the ridicule uh, of others, having people lie about you and accuse you, that, that being willing to endure those things is actually worth it. And, and it is actually a positive gain and, and I, I want to invite you to think with me about that positive gain because it is, it is actually twofold. Because as we choose to value the Lord above all else, as we worship Him and Him alone, everything else is a blessing from Him. And so we worship Him and give Him praise for everything in our lives as we reflect glory to Him, right? And, and so... He is what is of value above all of these other things. In this life, that's the first aspect, we have these spiritual blessings from the Lord right now. We actually know the presence of the living God. We know His anointing on our lives. And, and, that, is, and that is everything, to know His power, His presence, to, to know that He is with us, that He is ours and we are His to have the assurance 
that, that there is nothing that can take away his love and, and that we are in Christ and that is, is eternally true. So we have this amazing blessing that makes our hearts joyful now, right now. And, and so certainly we understand the value of that, but not only this, Jesus says when you give up things in this life, that there is actually a, a blessing, he says, a great reward awaits you in heaven. So not only blessing now, being blessed by God now, but there is a great reward that awaits you in heaven. So not only is he worth it now, but he is worth it eternally. And that, this is why we would be happy about it, why we would think the, the investment of our lives is actually worth it, even when it costs us dearly in this life. So what is that reward in heaven? It's an interesting question, right? Um, there, there are scenes, beautiful scenes from heaven that we read about, especially in, uh, in the book of Revelation. Um, streets of gold, a, a sea of, of, of glass, like, like just amazing scenes of beauty. And we could be tempted to think, okay, well, there's going to be more gold sidewalk in my mansion and glory is going to be bigger than, than everybody else's. And I, I would say, I don't know that that's not true, <laughs> but I would say that that is actually a worldly way to look at it when in fact the, the treasure is Jesus himself that having more of him, being willing to sacrifice for him now, that we actually know more of him. Uh, we, we declare his value with our very lives and we are therefore orienting the whole of our lives toward him. And so we have more of him because we want more of him. We see that he is the treasure and and so, to me, ultimately, this, this great reward is about having more of Jesus. And, and, and I think, too, there's, there's an aspect of this that we don't fully understand, but as we're faithful, now we are entrusted with more in heaven. And, and what that means, we don't fully know, but there is activity in heaven, there is joy, there is worship in heaven, all centered around Jesus who is our joy and our prize. And so, uh, friends, let's, let's hold fast to Jesus Christ. Let's be faithful to Him, even when it costs us. And when it costs us, let us rejoice and be glad because Jesus says, you, you have made the very best investment of your life. You have given your life to what is most value, what is most worthy. And may it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And until we get a chance to speak again, friends, I pray that God would bless you and that he would keep you.